All right, what is up, players? Warboss Tap in this mug. Today, we're going to be teaching you how to paint the dark Eldar bodysuits and the uh, under armor underwear that they have under that uh, green glowy armor. So we're not focusing on the armor today, just the cloth, the latex, and the bits that you see uh, on the bodysuits. So stay tuned. The only colors we're going to be needing today are, I'd use Black Templar for the base, but you can also use Abaddon Black. I think Abaddon Black is actually what I would go with moving forward. Then uh, to tone down the next two colors, use some Non Oil, and the colors that we use as highlights are Dark Reaper and Thunderhawk Blue. If you're interested in getting one of these miniatures for yourself, this is Grand Serena, uh, Supreme Arena Mistress. I'm getting all of my adjectives mixed up in my head. Supreme Arena Mistress Maivia, and she is a, ma a miniature you can get from Artel W Miniatures. I've got a link down below in the description so you can check her out. Obviously, she's supposed to be like a Lelith Hesperax, leaping and twirling with a giant uh, mane of hair with these little spikes and hooks attached to it to do all this damage. And uh, I love this miniature so much. This one only costs $22 American on their website. So if you'd like to pick one up for yourself, you can see how to paint her up using all of the tips and tricks that I'm teaching you. Uh, I've got a series of videos all out and I'm going to be doing the armor, finishing up with her armor next. So I hope you check it out and we'll see you in the next video. What is up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in this mug. So today we're going to be taking a look at our uh, Dark Eldar Drukhari. Uh, evil spiky space elf and we're going to be painting up her leather as well as um, we're going to leave her armor alone so if you've got like witch or cavalite warriors or succubus armor oh uh, we're going to do that in a separate video this is going to be a quick one we're just going to do the black leather so because i'm experimenting with contrast paints we're going to start with black templar but you could also use abaddon black chaos black for a more solid um, base coat and to make contrast paint work you have to work over a white primer so this is um, gray sear that I'm using and I'm just gonna paint this over the black bodysuit area now if you um, have let's make sure that we're not painting over her skin if you have the games workshop witches or the succubus it's really easy to see where their skin begins and ends and meets up with the black bodysuit if you're using a different model like i'm using this artel w miniatures model of grand uh supreme arena mistress maivia then uh, you might want to double check where the bodysuit is and which part of your model is the bodysuit and which part of your miniature is actually skin. So I do notice that she's got some cloth here. So I'm going to paint that with the Black Templar as well. It's tricky because contrast paint flows so much uh, more than the regular base coats and shades. So you want to make sure you're not putting too much on your brush or else it's going to pool in areas you don't want it to. You also want to make sure your brush is up to the task. So get a brush that has a fine tip or that you're able to control. And she's wearing some kind of like Lululemon sports bra. Now, if you decide to click the link in the description and go out and purchase a Mistress Maivia for yourself, you could skip this process entirely by building your Supreme Arena Mistress Maivia topless, at which point uh, you just need to make sure you paint her when your wife's not around. Or your mother, depending on what chapter you are in your life. Since I am painting her for family friendly video we're gonna make sure she's all covered up okay now with uh, contrast paints you want to give it some time to dry so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna 
let this contrast paint dry and then we're gonna come back and make sure that the paints you have when you come back to the video are Dark Reaper and Thunderhawk Blue. So go off, go uh, um, watch some TV, go do something else, maybe finish painting up some other models in your army or work on the rest of your model. And then we'll come back in a little, maybe a little over an hour and see where we are with her. All right, players, now that that black has dried completely for the uh, bodysuit and the underwear, which she's wearing under her armor, we're gonna start moving on to this dark reaper highlight. You're gonna notice that dark reaper has a beautiful dark bluish tone to it. So we're going to just find the areas that we can lift up and create the illusion of uh, like stretching. Like a lot of witches have these uh, stockings, stretchy stockings, where you can see their legs, the skin of their legs through the side. So because that seems to be like the area that's stretching the most, we're going to add a little bit more these vertical slashes down the side there. And we're also going to get the straps. I'm basically looking for anything that's not that metallic armor. So anything that looks like these cloth or whatever this latex material is. Space, space latex. <laughs> Lulu Demon. Next we're gonna move on to Thunderhawk Blue and do the same thing. This is just the pop highlight. So ideally you wanna be using a little bit of a smaller brush, um, but because I can't, I think my son took mine and ran off with it. He raved my, my painting area. So he usually ended up looking for all of the things that he was playing with. This is, it's nice that one out. In order to make the pop highlight work, you're just adding little dots and slashes within what you've already painted. Now if you feel like, oh, this is a little too bright, probably went a little too far in some places, like George Lucas. All you have to do is tone it down with some gnome oil. I think I am gonna do that a little bit with her. Her top seems a little too dark, or a little too highlighted across the front. So really water down this shade because there's no there's no need to go in really dark. Just subtly adding those shadows back in. All right. And that's how you do it. That's how you paint up a Drukhari or Dark Eldar bodysuit or under armor or underwear under her armor. If you uh, want to check out the rest of this series, I'm painting up also, how, I'm doing videos on how to paint up the orc skin as well as how to do 
the uh, El Dark Eldar skin I did a video on and I'm finishing up a video on how to do her armor. So thanks for watching everybody. If you're interested in this figure, you can pick it up from Artel W Miniatures. I've got the link down below in the description. It's an affiliate link. So if you do click on it, then uh, you will be helping out the studio if you decide to purchase her. I thank you for that. And I thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Leave me a comment before you go and subscribe and ring that bell for notifications so you can see when my next videos are coming up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.